Hello everyone. Uh, some of you guys know me as War X Fuji Six, um, and other ones know me as Clayton. Uh, so I haven't really posted anything in probably the last six, seven months. Some of you know why, some of you don't actually know why, why we completely stopped doing YouTube and all that stuff. Uh, mostly because we have had a lot go on with since December 11th. Uh, just a rundown of it, uh, I will put a link in the description. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to read it. It is our GoFundMe. Uh, you don't have to donate if you don't want to. Uh, but if you can, please share it. Uh, we are desperately in need of help um, for a while now. Uh, I've been reluctant on even posting anything about it because I never really like to ask people for help. But I mean, honestly, if I'm being honest, we really do need help. Uh, and hopefully somebody does help. Uh, if not, it's okay. Uh, just please make sure you can share it for us and just keep praying for us and hope everything's going to be alright. Um, so, in December 11th of last year, um, that was the day that we had found out that uh, our son's ambiotic fluid had uh, been gone. Uh, literally was decreasing. He had like maybe a few centimeters left of ambiotic fluid. Um, uh, and that's when we found out that it's possible that he could be born a preemie. And, um, that's actually what happened. Um, so he was without ambiotic fluid since February. Um, because my wife was admitted, uh, in February to the hospital. Uh, that was like three hours away from us. Uh, and... Basically, uh, on March 15th, he li he stayed in there until March 15th. That's when my wife was uh, sent for an emergency C-section. Um, it was like 6 in the morning, uh, so he was born at like 6.30, almost 7 a.m. Um, he was born a preemie. Um, we also um, didn't expect, uh, but we knew it was a possibility. Um, that he, he did have a clip whip and a clip palette, but uh, his is actually a bilateral, so it's on both sides. Uh, it's where your lip and the upper part of your mouth uh, don't form properly. Um, it can be due to the low amniotic fluid. It can also be due to like genetics. Um, our mother did have a clip lip and clip palette, so we knew it was a possibility. Um, it's not a bad situation but it's not a great one either because it's harder on him uh, he's not able to like suction bottles and stuff um but i'm getting ahead of myself there um so uh after he was born uh probably like uh i want to say uh the next month or so well the next month um he had a perforation of his bowel so he had a tube put in um, to drain some of the fluid and everything. Uh, the hospital that he was in uh, was a level four NICU, um, but it was the beginnings of a children's hospital. It wasn't an actual children's hospital yet. Um, they didn't have a pediatric uh, surgeon on call at all times. Uh, so we had made the decision to transfer him to another hospital, one that was more capable and one that had everything that he needed uh, when he needed it. Um, because if he needed a pediatric surgeon and um, there wasn't one there, he'd have to be uh, life lifted to like Cincinnati or another hospital in general uh, that could actually take care of him. Um, so we had made that decision to transfer him to the other hospital, uh, I did forget to mention that he was born at 600 grams, so he was relatively small, could fit in the palm of your hand, basically, uh, which was very scary. Um, uh, now, uh, 
so when, after we had him moved and everything, um, I believe that day that we actually had him moved, uh, we had went to go see um, my mother, uh, my wife's mother. Um, we had felt that she wasn't doing good that day. Uh, we had noticed she'd lost quite a bit of weight. Uh, in 2021, she had uh, lung cancer. She uh, had a lobectomy done, and she had been rid of it uh, since 2021, basically. Uh, she had done good, got her health back, recovered, uh, doing daily activities like she would always do. Um, there wasn't too much concerned, um, just, but just recently, since uh, we've been in the hospital and everything, we noticed she, how much weight she's lost and all that when we went to go visit her before uh, we went to Morgantown, basically, to go where we transferred our son. Uh, we went to go see him, and then uh, a few weeks later, we had come back to check on her. Uh, I, I want to say like May, May 1st. Uh, we ended up going to check on her. Uh, we noticed she had lost more weight. She stopped doing daily activities. She stopped doing the, like making her coffee in the morning. Uh, so we had made the decision to try to talk her into going to the hospital. She was, she was stubborn, uh, but who isn't about a hospital? Uh, and then we ended up finding out that uh, her cancer was back, uh, but it wasn't the same cancer she originally had. It was uh, worse. Uh, it was a large cell that acts like a small cell carcinoma. Uh, uh, and if I'm being honest, it's probably the worst cancer you can have because it was so it's so aggressive and it's hard to to treat. Uh, so it had like a 97 percent uh, metastatic rate uh, from multiplying. Uh, we knew she didn't have long left, so we tried our best to uh, make her comfortable. I mean, she did try to, uh, she went back and forth to the hospital for a few months. Uh, we even put her in a nursing home for a little bit, like a sling, swing vent unit to rehabilitate her. Uh, she just, she just was going downhill with it. Uh, and we seen it, uh, well, I seen it at least. And I seen that she, she was pretty much done. Uh, she tried her best. Uh, I know she wanted to be there when Zachary was able to come home. Uh, we were hoping that she would get to be. Uh, when she was in the hospital, we had did have her admitted in Morgantown at one point in time. Um, the doctors and them uh, were nice enough to let her actually go over and see him in the NICU there. Uh, so she did get to hold him. Uh, she she also got to hold him, uh, well she didn't get to hold him uh, in Cabell Huntington, but she did uh, get to go see him at least. Uh, that was good. And she did get to hold him in uh, Morgantown, so that was good too. And we actually did get a picture of that. Uh, I have it, but I can't get it to, to go on the GoFundMe correctly because it wants to cut off heads and not show everything. Uh, but I do have a picture of that, so that was a, a plus. And we, I think we do have a limited copy of that picture as well with her holding him. Uh, and then with everything going on, um, so we've been putting miles and miles and miles on our our vehicle and everything. Uh, I've changed the oil at least three or four times. I've uh, changed transmission fluid, <laughs> uh, even bought tires twice. Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, people wonder why we had, uh, we're having car issues is because I mean, we're literally putting like 30, 40,000 miles on a vehicle in less than a year because we had to go back and forth. Um, uh, so our transfer case started going out in our vehicle. Uh, I, I look them up. Uh, they're like two thousand, three thousand dollars. Then you might be able to get one for a thousand or less, but it just depends, and it's it's got to make sure it's the right one. 
Um, but uh, recently our transfer case had completely pretty much been shot. Uh, it's not safe to drive it. Uh, it I wouldn't drive it uh, even a mile down the road because you might not make it back. He might be walking. Uh, so that was a big thing that had happened recently. The other big thing is um, two days um, before our son was discharged from the NICU, um, our, uh, my wife's mother, um, had passed away. Uh, we were here with her. Uh, she wanted to be on hospice. She knew what that had meant to be on hospice. Um, we wanted her to have what she wanted, so we let her pass away at home. That's how she wanted to go, so that's what we did. Um, and we sent her to the funeral home and everything, and then we found out how expensive it is to get buried anymore. And it's very expensive. Uh, so if you wanted an actual, like, regular funeral, opening casket, services, and all that, uh, and you wanted it at a funeral home, so the cheapest one for us was, uh, I think, like, 4000 uh, Of course, we don't have 4000 because we can't even get our vehicle fixed. <clears throat> and we really need our vehicle fixed. Uh, so we had talked to some family members, uh, uh, so we had uh, decided to go with the cremation because uh, she wanted to be buried near her mother and her father. Uh, so uh, we couldn't actually get like a plot or anything. So we had to uh, bury uh, her uh, cremation uh, urn basically uh, next to the cemetery uh, where her mother was born, well, where her mother was buried excuse me, um, to honor her wish of being laid to rest next to her mother. Uh, it wasn't the most ideal situation, but it was the only situation we had at hand. And even cremation was very expensive uh, because we were looking at uh, like almost $2,500 for cremation. But that was the cheapest route, and that's the cheapest route that we had to go with because it was the only thing feasible for us. Um, let's see. I've touched based on just about everything. Now, this video is just to, really to update you guys on everything that's been going on. And most of the reason why we haven't been uh, posting anything and we hope uh, and pray that uh, somebody can at least help us. I mean, we need it. I mean, I wouldn't be making this video if I wasn't for sure that we needed help, uh, which we really do. Uh, even sharing the video is a great support to us. Uh, we will try our best to support you guys back whenever we can. Uh, we just got a lot going on right now, so... Uh, just be patient with us. Um, uh, so, <sighs> I plan on being a little more active again, um, but there's a lot going on. So hopefully I can be. Um, if I can't, I'm very sorry. Um, uh, I hope you guys don't uh, not want to come back and see us. Because we greatly appreciate your support. So, I am going to end this video here. Um, if you have anything you want to let us know, please let us know in the comment. Uh, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. That's uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, I mean, I know we don't have monetization anymore, but that's due to unforeseen reasons we don't even really know. Uh, but, uh, any, any donations to our GoFundMe is greatly appreciated. Uh, even if one person, if you, even if you donate 50 cents, uh, it, it helps. It's, 
I mean, if the thousand people donated 50 cents, that's $500. I mean, that's $500 that goes to help us out, and that would be very appreciated. Uh, so, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I don't really have much more to say. There's a lot going on, and we're trying. I'll see you guys in the next video. We love you guys as always. Uh, keep keep hanging in there and doing what you do and doing what you love. Love y'all.